All right. Well, I want to welcome everyone to the Third Contemporary Gallery. And this is the Studio of Conversations When Boundaries Fade exhibition uh, with Carol, uh, Janice, and Mary. And I wanted to have a conversation. You know, this show is Studio of Conversations. And I think it would be really appropriate to have a conversation, brief conversation tonight about the exhibit, you know, the ideas that are behind the exhibition, behind the works. Uh, for me, as a gallery director, this is a special exhibition uh, in that it's a, a sequel you know, to what it was presented uh, I think a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. if, I, if I remember correctly, <laughs> if my memory remembers well. So we had, uh, back then when the gallery was on the first floor, a studio conversation exhibition where the three artists uh, presented a body of work that was done with this idea of conversations. And a lot of uh, people that come and see the show, they ask me about, you know, do the artists work together? How do they, how do the interaction happens? So that's why I would love to do this, this conversation tonight. And we can also record it on video and publish it so people can learn more about, you know, your, your uh, particular way of working, which I think uh, it is really interesting because uh, the three of you know each other for quite a while. Uh, you have collaborated together in, in more than one project. Uh, your friendship kind of informs each other's work, yet each one of you is distinctive in the way you work, in the way you approach your art. And what's really nice about this show and also from conversations that I have with people that come in is, you know, they, when they first see it at first glance, they might think it's a one-person show, but as they start to work and discover the distinguishable uh, work from each one of you, but still there's a nice thread that that the whole exhibition becomes a larger conversation, if that makes some sense. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to can I ask you some questions about that. We can have a little conversation about the exhibit, uh, the, the idea behind it. So why don't we start with, with that, you know? <laughs> well, I think when we, we first started, uh, we've shown together, we've known each other a long time. So when we first started, it was how can we work with each other in a way that's different, but not work on the same work? and actually um, you know, learn from each other in a different way. Because a lot of times, you know, as artists, you're looking at each other's work, you say, oh, I really like that piece you did, you know, and then you kind of move off and do your own thing. This we wanted to get more intimately involved with each other's work. Mm -hmm. um, I think we, um, the conversation part of it is yeah. very real because we talk about our artwork a lot when we get together pizza at the house. Pizza. <laughs> pizza. It's gonna be good. Nice. <laughs> and um, yeah. we've worked out all the details yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we so we have done a lot of talk. It began with notes too. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about how to organize the show, what are the themes and so forth. But the themes are very much the same. Nature is one of the big ones in all in all of our work. And take it away, Jan. <laughs> <laughs> um, when we did the first studio conversation, uh, it actually started from Mary's sketchbook. She had a page within her sketchbook that had a grid in it. And that grid became like a focal point for us. And we thought, okay, off of this grid, we can all work with this and then go off and do our own thing with it. So that that's kind of what held it all together. But actually, it gave us an opportunity to sort of take it way farther than that. Um, because then we started thinking about, you know, uh, Carol's a painter, Mary's into printmaking, I'm into mixed media. And then we started to share things. Mixed media, painting, printmaking, and it all became sort of like a um, goulash, you know? We really helped each other in simple things. You know, what, what materials, uh, where to go. Um, uh, critiques, uh, how do we grow, things like that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's very interesting. And, and I think also when you have a conversation with someone, you know, it's a two-way thing, right? So you, you experience of working to work together has also uh, changed or evolved in your own way of working outside of the project as an individual artist. How does this experience in some way uh, inspire, affected, or in, in any way being part of what you do as an artist in the I think the one thing that I've gotten from this is um, 
to take lots of chances, mm. to work with new media, to not feel as though you have to be restricted by that plane, you know, yeah. that, that it doesn't have to be two-dimensional, it can be three-dimensional. And we did actually do some three-dimensional yeah, things on the first show. Right, yeah. um, um, To begin to look at other people's work, mm -hmm. talk about other artists' work, and, and sort of like share that with each other so that we could understand where we might be able to go or what we can learn from that. Mm -hmm. um, from, from Jam? <laughs> I'll call her up and say, what did you use? <laughs> what was that material? So, materials. Right. Uh, Mary has got, and I love a good line. Yeah. Mary's got the most beautiful lines in the day, and the touch, and so just studying them and living with them and looking closer. And uh, for myself, they told me what they really liked about my work, and I was like, okay, why don't I build on something? I, I have two people who I admire and I trust, and they said, we like this about what you're doing, so why don't I do more with that then? Because that's part of me, but sometimes you need that little bit of encouragement that says, I like this direction, are you gonna go further with that? And that's what I think we've been giving each other also in the conversation is, yeah, little nudges to go along this path. I think following what Carol started to look at more is a three-dimensional image. And there's three of them in here that we all sort of did something that was similar. We took the same background. Okay. And that was a three-dimensional plane. And the thing just did whatever we what we wanted to do with it. And I was really glad to do that because I hadn't done that much kind of painting sort of stuff for a while and, and working on a three-dimensional plane record. So I like that a lot. And some of the questions that I have sometimes is, you know, do, do they actually work together? But I don't, you don't work together, right? Like you have the conversations, but then everyone goes back to their studio, to their own time of working, and then you go back again and continue that conversation. And so it's a really interesting way of working that you're not working at the same time in the same studio, looking at what everyone else is doing as you create your own work. And then when you come back and am I correct? That's how it happens. Yeah, what we say. We text stuff to each other. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Very well, good smartphone. That helped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Smart phone. Yeah. Yeah. Once you got that, we could actually you know, send images quickly. <laughs> because look at this. A lot. And you can, you can see something progress. Right. Yeah. 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 When boundaries fade, this particular show. The very title. Yeah. The very title. <laughs> boundaries have faded. Um, we tried to work on one piece together, and no, it wasn't in the show. I'd like to say. <laughs> so don't look for it. <laughs> so, it, did, it didn't work out well. No, and I think that that. That's what's happened is that we that we are cohesive and that right. we are working together and it does when you do walk in it does look like the same artist yeah. did the work. The work you realize that there's that unique quality that's a signature of each of us, each artist. So yeah, that's that's what's happened. Yeah. You know? Wonderful. And you know, that's very unique and I think that's a wonderful thing the way you are working that you're able to, to do this, to grow this relationship to this level, you know, where we can now present the exhibition and have this beautiful body of work and all being so cohesively and very, you know, very, uh, as, as a one show, one great idea as well. And you mentioned about grit, you know, you talk about the grit report. And for this particular show, uh, you did also the layout of the, of the exhibition and how you wanted the pieces and so forth. Um, how did you go about that idea of grid and in the way you presented the work itself? Well, there's a grid. Yeah, that is the grid. That's a good example of it in the middle. Mm -hmm. And we had in the other show, one of the first shows, yeah, yeah, we had little drawings and so forth like this. And they were in a grid and it was strict, you know, it was, it was more controlled and now we kind of let it go wherever, and I, I like this a little better. 
dead. The way it is. Lovely. But it still well, appears. Well, it gives a sense of structure to things. I mean, in this show versus the first, we went for a little bit more, I'd say, finished look to mm -hmm. the framed work, and the first one was more experimental. Yeah. We were truly tr trying to figure out our way, and people would say, what does it mean that you collaborated? I think we had a lot more trouble explaining that, mm -hmm. because we were still discovering that. Um, but the grid, to me, is, is it's a basis you know, for so much, so it unified. It's like the common denominator. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Do you see it going forward in the future? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Awesome. for sure. I mean, I, I was talking to someone earlier, and that was that um, sometimes artists' egos get in the way, and I think that that's the the one winning combination for us. That none of us have. No, we we really don't have this ego. Doesn't you know? Doesn't drop the bomb on the creator. It really doesn't. Um, and another thing that's really important is that we really respect each other's opinion. Okay. Um, and if we find ourselves in trouble, we know we can go to one another for that insight that's going to get us reinvigorated so we can work again. Right. Wonderful. I want to also open questions from the audience here as well. So if you have a question or something you would like to ask. Yeah. I mean, I recognize the harmony that's here. But was there a, a point or a time when you had disagreements? Uh, where one of you believed in something and the other ones were like, I think you ought to go this route. Did that ever occur? I think you did. Did you do a point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I, we I think, think it did. did. Yeah. 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 So, uh, but, but we were nice about it. And it's because we'd say, well, that's not my favorite. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're very or, diplomatic. Or, or kind of, I really don't want to do that. that well, way. okay, I, I just never say that. Yeah, you did say that. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we all said, oh, okay, well, you know. That's because what do you want to do is what we said. We've known each other for 20 years, at least. More, probably. <laughs> All right, and yeah, there's more questions. In hanging the show here, um, I like the grid that you got, and I'm interested in this, this, the space that you have, and I just wonder how that happened. Why that happened. Uh, we planned that. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, you know, when we did the first one, we really had a tight grid where the pieces were almost, it almost looked like a chessboard. And with this one, we really wanted to break up the boundaries. We literally wanted to, to open up the space to to allow the pieces to, to work with one another, but at the same time work independently. Okay. Okay, hey, Joyce, you have a Would you ever attempt a collaborative piece in the future? I know you said <laughs> you didn't include that piece I, in this show. But I, I, think, I think we would. I really do. No, wait. <laughs> I dare you to say no. I think we would have to understand. I say yes, she says no, she says maybe. But she, <laughs> watch this. You have to understand, there'll be, a, there'll be future conversations about this. So that's it, well, conversation. That's how the three ended up in the same frame. That was yeah. as close as we could get. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's another one. That's yeah. 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 Really nice. But I think we. So it's a possibility. Me, you know, if she says that we could could try it, then we might try it. <laughs> yeah, maybe if we tried something that none of us ever worked in. Oh, it's interesting. Okay, it's a random answer. So. Any other questions? Or anything else you would like to add to the conversation? Or? Well, I would like to thank you. For having us back here again, otherwise but letting us do phase two of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. yeah. Actually, that was important for all of us to have a follow-up to the yeah. first one. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Absolutely, no, thank you. So again, I want to thank everyone here for coming and for being part of the exhibition. This is not the opening. We had the opening the previous month. This is a kind of a special um, second opening in a way, and just having this conversation for us to document and record. Uh, the process of working from the artist as well. So, on um, behalf of the gallery, I want to thank you as well for you. your hard work, for you know, being, uh, being so focused on the show and getting it.
to the finished program that we have now. So, Terrific. thank you again. Yeah. <laughs>